Well, welcome back. Sorry it's been so long. Um, we're going to bottle some beer here. Uh, Graham's actually in class. He's so stinking busy. We've, we've actually bottled two batches since uh, that last one, and he's just always too busy to be on TV here. This is actually the stuff we bought, we uh, brewed that last day. Got a little bit in a big container there and some more. And this is a wheat ale that we are going to bottle. We've already sanitized the siphon, sucked some sanitizer through it, and uh, sanitized a bunch of bottles. Uh, if you have all your bottles collected, beer bottles of course are good. But it's nice to have big ones because then it's less bottling, like this nice baby duck bottle and stuff. And then for five gallons, you dissolve a cup of water into some, oh, a cup of sugar, corn sugar, into some water. And then you siphon the beer onto that, and that's what lets the bottles carbonate once it's all in bottles. So, this one's only about three quarters full. So I have three quarters of a cup of sugar, we're going to siphon onto that, and then into all these bottles. And because I have these couple smaller bottles that I put some of that wheat beer with some raspberries, and some orange zest. Get a little crazy. So, we'll start bottling this and see how it works. Okay, we're gonna quit there. Now we're gonna taste it. Now that we're down to the bottom and see, make sure it tastes okay. Chug, chug. I think it's good. Beans. I think it's good. So here's some raspberry, and these ones have some orange peels in them. And uh, and I brewed a dark beer. I actually have some footage. I crushed some, crushed some grain. Crushed some beer. And I added some coffee into this one. I went to a brew shop in Edmonton. Bar. Got a pound of dark roasted barley. And... Uh, Cracked it up in a plastic bag with uh, my rolling pin here, and um, and I went to the dollar store and bought uh, some pantyhose. That was embarrassing for steeping bags. Now it's uh, making some delicious smelling beer over here. Then we're gonna add this malt extract instead of sugar this time, and. We'll let you know how it goes. Mm. That's actually a jug I was supposed to return. Sorry, Ryan Mason. That's why I didn't use it on this one. I intended on returning it. And uh, my friends, since Graham's not here, Martine and Derek helped rinse bottles. And, uh, what'd we learn today, Martin? Don't drink the sanitizer. <laughs> Get a whole bunch of beer bottles on the counter here, and maybe if you're on bottling day and you're going to drink beer while you're bottling, you should try a new variety of beer that you've never tried before, so you can tell it apart from all the ones you're trying to sanitize. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you going to die now? I didn't drink it. Derek's filming. Oh, Great Derek. the academic. Move away <laughs> from the light. Making a... He's here. Hey, you have to say anything about brewing to your loyal fans? Uh, uh more cheers, more beers. Is it that's all? Keep her um, sleazy. Okay, so here's Derek filling. He's got this bottling valve on the end. So when you press it to the bottom of the bottle, it uh, lets beer out. And. Um, Martine is capping. Oh, I should have got you to do that better for the camera. <laughs> um, oh, and that valve is good because if you just have it splashing in the bottle, it's good to have the siphon at the bottom of the bottle because the more that the beer is exposed to oxygen at this point, the worse it is for the beer. Cap that. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I was
Un rêve, un rêve. Un rêve.